Welcome back dear students in your science class. Today we are beginning with new physics chapter friction. Take a ball and roll it on the floor. You will notice that it rolls for some time and then stops. Similarly, if you stop pedaling a bicycle, it slows down and ultimately stops. What makes moving things come to a stop? You have already studied that a force can stop a moving object. This means that some kind of force acts on the ball or the bicycle that tends to stop it. This force is known as frictional force or simply friction. Friction always opposes the relative motion between the two bodies in contact irrespective of the direction of motion. For example, when a block is pulled by force towards the right, the force of friction acts towards the left and when the block is pulled by force towards the left, the force of friction acts towards the right. Now let us understand causes of friction. Friction depends on the surface of contact of bodies. Every object has a rough surface, though the surface may appear to be smooth to the naked eye. When we see through a microscope, it is found that the surfaces of all the objects have irregularities. When two surfaces slide over each other, the irregularities of these surfaces interlock with each other. This interlocking opposes the motion between the surfaces in contact and give rise to friction. When we attempt to move one object over the other, we have to apply a force to overcome interlocking of the irregularities in their surfaces. More the roughness of a surface, larger is the number of irregularities on its surface and hence greater will be the friction. 